everyone. Um, today I'm just going to be showing a short tutorial. Um, I had got asked how I exactly set up everything on my my GIMP and when you download GIMP it should look something like this. Um, I couldn't remember exactly how it went. I know the tool options and the layers were over on this side. I don't know what else was over here and I know I think the gradients and palettes were down here and then uh, channels and, and uh, the undo history and, and pass and stuff were were up there. I'm pretty sure it was something along this along this line and I do apologize if everything looks a little bit small on here I do have a big computer screen so that's the reason why it looks this way um, but anyways this is how your GIMP looks um, out of the box after you download it and uh, upload it download it upload it I'm sorry after you download it and run it and install it on your computer this is how it looks pretty much in a nutshell and I I, uh, I worked with Photoshop for a long time and I just got uh, things are easier for me to use in single windows mode I like it that way and out of, out of the box I just don't like the way GIMP is set up I just I, I like to personalize it and stuff more for myself um, and of course your GIMP ain't gonna look like this um, it'll be white and stuff I have a theme installed um, I have a couple tutorials on how to install themes so I'm not gonna go over that today today I'm just here to show you how to set up your your GIMP so what we're gonna do here to take this out of this mode is we're gonna go up here to our toolbar and we're gonna go all the way over and we're gonna go to windows and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna click on single windows mode and as you can tell it went super super huge on my computer screen so I'll go ahead and I will make this a little bit smaller so this is how this will look like for everybody once you hit the single windows mode now all these dialogues dialog boxes they are all you could click and drag and drop them so if you just drag it out of there you see it's gonna pull up and it's gonna be a little box here and all you have to do is just set to set it wherever you want is you just go over here and you just drag and drop into a toolbar that you want and I'm sorry that it's not gonna let me show you uh, that but you make sure when you go to drag and drop it you don't drag grab the window you grab the tab grab the tab and drag it over and just drop it in wherever you want it on this side that side but I'm sorry for some reason my screen capture program it don't let me do that for some reason it's like it overrides something on GIMP so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this red X over here and I like my layers um, over here on this bottom dialog box thingy over here so I'm gonna go ahead and go over here down here and I am gonna click on this little um, circle thing with the triangle in it kind of a backwards YouTube logo looking thing and I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna go to add tab and I'm gonna click on layers and that added my layers tab over here and I don't like having the palettes up I only use them um, when I am making something that I want to keep the same color palette in and these are pretty cool you just you just double click on them and they'll open up over here automatically and if you have let me go ahead and click on this red X to get rid of that if you go to file new so let's go where's it at I'm not used to this 
over here so I just lower the size and you could just use whatever color you want and just click on it and it'll change to that color but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that and just click right here to get rid of uh, the boxes you'll just want to click back on this little icon over here and you'll just go down to close tab so I like my layers over here and if you go up to where they split you will see that you could drag this down or you could drag this up and it's the same for the sidebar you just just go over here until you see these kind of two little arrow things pointing both different ways and you can make this as big as you want all the way over here and you can resize it down <laughs> to whatever you want and normally I think they have the gradients open over here and I don't uh, I mean I use gradients a lot but I don't care to have to have this tab open over here so I could just come and drag and, and if you want that open that's that's fine you could put it wherever you'd like I just I don't like it being right there so I'm gonna go ahead and click off of it because when you go over here to your gradients tab you could click right here and they have all the gradients right here anyways so that's the reason why I don't like having extra dialog boxes open um, so and then we have the channels and pass up here I'm pretty sure these are these two are uh, open up here are automatically I don't like to have mine my pass up here so I'm gonna just come and if I, I wanted to put it down here but like I said I do apologize for my screen capture program um, but where I just grab that come and drag and drop it there and it would automatically go into this dialog box but it's not doing that because of my screen capture program so I'm gonna go ahead and exit off there and I'm gonna click right here on this little icon and I'm gonna go over here to add uh, tabs and I'm just gonna click on channels and so now I got these two sorry about that click over here layers so now I got these two we got the channels and the layers over here now um, and the undo history I like having up there so I'll keep that up there the pass tab it's the same thing I like to pass down here so I just come and drag you'll just grab that little tab grab it pull it down and then you will just take it to where you want it and you'll just drop it in there and it will go in there and I like I said I do apologize it's not gonna go in there for me so for me I'll have to come click right here add tab and then put pass so now I got my channels layers and pass I like keeping these down here because of course you use the layers all the time and so and for me it's more comfortable to come down here to the layers and I like keeping the channels here and I like keeping the paths here I like having everything to do with layers down in the same uh, add tab layers I like keeping everything that has to do with layers down here in the same dialog little toolbox thing down here um, and so for the tool options I don't like it over here it's just kinda weird for me to come over here I like keeping everything over here on this side so I just come I drag I like keeping these up on top up here and so I come I grab them I drag and I would, would drop them right here and they would go in there but the sad screen recording program that I'm using so I'll click off of that and I'll go over here to add tab and just click on tool options and now I have my tool options over there now I did uh, download a new screen capture program it's called um, action by Morellis I think and um, it looks pretty awesome I haven't uh, purchased it yet because I am still playing around with it and I'm wanting to see if it's something for for me so it's like I said it's called action by Morellis and let's see here we'll just go there go down and find it yeah it's Morellis action by Morellis sorry I'm getting off subject but anyways it's pretty cool little screen 
capture program that I am messing around with. Now, when you they give you a, th a free 30-day trial, but of course, when you record something with it, um, it leaves a watermark on there. So that's the reason why I am not using this. But you could use it to record games and stuff. Um, but anyways, we're not talking about this. I just wanted to to let fellow people know about something cool to purchase it um, I think it's fifty dollars for um, to use it commercially um, so since YouTube is um, they use advertisements and stuff like that I, I think that's considered commercial so you would have to pay fifty dollars if it's just for personal use then it is only twenty nine ninety nine and yeah anyways enough of that and I'm I'm going to purchase it I I'm pretty sure but I just want to make sure that it's gonna be for what I need anyways so let's get off off of the subject so anyways so back to subject sorry I got a little sidetracked there um, I got the my tool options up here and I like keeping the undo history up here and like I said for me it's more comfortable that way and plus I do have a pretty large screen so it's just easy for me that way um, and like I said I, I used this Photoshop for a very long time but anyways um, what is that? oh okay I'm sorry I just was looking at something there um, so I like keeping my tool options and my undo history up here and the other window that I like having up here is the navigation so we'll just go over here to this little icon and we'll go to add tab and we'll go down to navigation and I just like having this up here because if you're drawing or or, or something in that manner um, it's just it's very easy to just click over here and zoom in and get real up close and personal and, and stuff anyways I like having that there in my tool tool options and my undo history I like having that there also so so I like keeping everything to do with layers down here and this right here I don't yours don't come standard looking like this um, I don't believe anyways not unless they added all this stuff on here with GIMP but I downloaded a a plug-in package um, off of the GIMP registry and it had uh, a bunch of plugins and everything for GIMP on there and it installed directly so because I think this comes with the GIMP paint studios by um, I do apologize to who who did that version um, but it comes with a bunch of different stuff anyways I don't like having this open at all unless like I said I'm painting or or something like that then it's good to have open but we're gonna go ahead and click off of that and if you come over here you will get them two lines that line up and I like just dragging this over here <coughs> to make these more smaller and, and compact just like that so I have two rows of my tools and on Photoshop they're just one row but anyways I like having all my tools over here on this side and I just click over here and then like I said why well, and I'm right handed too so that's another reason why I like having everything over here on this side it's just I don't know easier for me to just come over here and click on the tool that you want and then and plus I also use shortcuts a lot so but that is the reason why I set mine up like this and this is how I set it up so like I said it just when you come it's gonna when you download it and install it it's gonna be just like this well it's not gonna be just like this but you'll have a different window for each one <laughs> and all your your tool options and everything will be over here so you just wanna go to windows single window mode and you'll put it back in the single window mode and like I said all you gotta do is just grab one of these tabs drag and drop to wherever you want this check something here ok 
Okay, we're still recording. Hmm. I wonder why it is letting me do that now. But anyways, you see that we drag and drop. So we can come and drag and drop any one of these in here. That is weird. It's letting me do it now. You just take and you just wait until it lights up up here and you just drag and drop them. Just like that. I like having um, my layers, like I said, down here. So I like having the layers first and then I go channels and then I go pass. If I could get it right here. And then I like having my navigation over here first and then the tools and then the undo. And if you see here, it lights up there. And if you have a big enough screen, you could do this now with GIMP. You could have your own full couple of toolbars if you want. You could set it up just like this if you'd like. And you could have multiple... multiple windows I don't know why you'd want to do that and like, like I said unless you had a super huge uh, screen which mine's pretty big but that's just kinda confusing I don't like that at all but you could do that if you'd like to so we just take our channels and we'll just drag and drop them back over here our paths drag and drop them back over here our tool options just grab it by the tab remember you gotta grab it by the tab bring it up here drag and drop it grab our navigation bring it over here drag and drop it and then you come over here and wait until these two little arrows pop up and then you just resize it back down and there you go you have uh, your standard single windows mode and normally mine's like this and I have everything like this here and you can make these as big or as small as you'd like I keep mine around the middle. So I hope this helps and this kind of explains a little bit better how you do this um, and how you set this up to normal Windows mode. And like I said, that's kind of just the work through that, that I go through. Um, like I said, I used Photoshop for a long time and their, their tools are just over here on the side and then they have everything else over here on the right hand side. <laughs> and it just I don't know makes more sense to me they have a little arrow over here you could use your files and, and all that stuff and that down there that little um let me go ahead and make this smaller for you and that little if you look down here there's a little kinda looks like the the rolling ants down here or but or the selection whatever you want to call it and they're called marching ants but um, you click this and you can turn on uh, toggle on the quick mask mode and oops cancel if you want to quick mask something I don't know it's totally up to you and then it just adds a selection to that the white parts that you whited out there um, but that's for a different tutorial or a different day but uh, like I said I do apologize for rambling on but I like showing people how to do this stuff and I got asked exactly how I do this stuff myself and how I did it myself if you have any questions please feel free to comment like and subscribe please and you will see many many more tutorials thank you and have a great day